Good morning everybody. It's actually really nice today. The sun is behind the clouds but it's warm. But as you're walking out here there is a lovely breeze upon which is just nice and cool. So it's really lovely. But today I'm going to be sharing something which I believe is a really important message. Something that will hopefully set you free are you ready for it? It's not about you. There's this verse in Galatians, part of this verse actually, it says, I'm crucified with Christ. It's no longer I that live, but Christ living in me. Before you were a Christian or before I was a Christian, there may have been that familiar sentence, I want. <laughs> I want a nice house. I want to tour the world. I want to be a successful business person. I want a nice car. I want, I want, I want, I want. Well, I had that mentality until I met with Christ. And then he was like, actually, it's not about you anymore, Simon. It's about what I want for your life because through your life you will exalt my name and you will glorify my father and run ahead of myself a little bit but, but it's not about me and here's a big one the Bible's not about me the Bible's not about you the Bible is helpful for us to live our life our Christian life but if you look at, about, look at it in uh, Psalm 23, it refers to us, doesn't it? The, the Lord is my shepherd. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He leads me on paths of righteousness. But why? It's for his namesake, <laughs> not ours. It's for his glory. We see that in the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus talks about us letting our light shine before others by the way that we act and the way that we speak and the way that we treat people. So that what? So that they may see your good deeds for yourselves, for your own glory? No, so that they will glorify the Father in heaven. So the Bible is helpful for us to live our life as a Christian so that what? It's God that gets the glory. It's all about him. It's not about us. We see that. Remember when Jesus taught the disciples, he said, if anyone wants to come after me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. You think about the disciples. They probably led their life saying, yes, I want to do this. Most of the disciples were successful fishermen. And they had to put their nets down to follow Jesus. Think of the tax collector. He would have had lots of perks, a big purse. But yet, Jesus said two words to these disciples. Follow me. And they decided, actually, it's not about me. This is the Messiah. This is the Son of God. It's about him. And now I'm going to use my life for him and his glory. And remember, a lot of the disciples went to their deaths in order that the gospel would spread throughout the world, which glorified God and also is beneficial to us because we now, even though we live so far away from Israel, we too have been changed by the power of the gospel. See, it's not about us. It's about him and his glory. And I think that's the mentality I had coming into my faith, or before, should I say, that I wanted to be famous. I wanted to be successful. I wanted to be handsome. I wanted the coolest hair, the best clothes, nice car pretty girlfriend and then I met with Jesus and it was like no it's not about me anymore it's about you 
and this is freeing because I know that my life is in his hands so if I don't get the things that I want I know it's not meant for me or it might not be good for me I can trust everything with him if I've not got the highest paid job I know I can trust in him he will provide if I'm growing old I'm not as handsome as I used to be I'm not handsome at all but you know what I mean doesn't matter God loves me he says I'm fearfully and wonderfully made if I don't have the nicest car so what gets me from A to B actually it's a lovely little car my little Toyota I go I could I'd like five doors but I've got three doesn't matter it's not about me it's about the Lord and you could just take this in every facet of your life and that's what I say to Scout when she's trying to determine what she wants I say when it comes down to it Scout it's about what God wants in your life and his will not yours and there, there'll be times where you'll be disappointed but you can say Lord I thank you that I'm in your will and sometimes things might not go the way we want it but the Lord knows that's not the best thing for your life so we can trust in him and say it's not about me it's about you and it's about your glory so remember it's not about us it's about him when we read the Bible it can help us but it's designed so that we can glorify his name and show how amazing he is not necessarily how amazing we are but you may be stuck at a crossroads now thinking where on earth am I going my life isn't exactly the way I planned it out to be but remember God has you in the palm of his hands and he will work things out for his purpose and his glory I hope that's helpful it's no longer I that live but Christ living in me and the life that I live now is by faith in the Son of God who gave his life for me anyway bless you and I uh, hope to see you tomorrow at prayer at nine or and see you on Sunday at half past ten for our live feed we're going to be talking about actually it'll be the the pinnacle of this freedom series where we'll be talking about the necessity or the importance of getting a revelation of Father God that we can enjoy a wonderful relationship with Abba so please tune in for that anyway may the Lord bless you bye bye